For your glory, God, I will do anything just to please you. Because this God, oh my gosh, guys, he's amazing me with such a love and intimate attention to every detail of my life. Oh. Oh. Yesterday in a conversation with someone, I was just blown away. I said, God, you're even concerned about this aspect of my life? And God, it just, it just freaked me out that I woke up today so excited that I went out just on a 1K run because I'm expecting the person that I spoke to yesterday over the phone. And I'm like, God, wow, wow, wow. So it says, I want to be where you are, God. And that's where I want all of us. I want us dwelling in God's presence from moment to moment, sucking in his love, his approval, just thinking about how he's behind the scenes in the spiritual realm, fighting battles we don't even know about, connecting us with the right people, taking care of situation for us, alerting us to things that we need to take care of. Huh. I started, I told you, I started having appointments with God with my sons. I said, every time I'm having my morning coffee, I'm going to call my boys in Nigeria and we're going to have appointments with God. And the other day, we were just reading one of them from Rick Warren's Purpose Driven De uh, Devotional for Kids about how God delights in every detail of our lives. And that's what I'm experiencing with him, guys. Like every detail, that conversation last night just blew me away. Like, God, wow, you're even involved with that. So God, let's not miss out on a relationship with God. I want us dwelling in his presence making every decision to honor him, to please him. Even when your girl here wants to turn into crazy lady, God say, no, 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 no. God, no, 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 Nick, I'm expecting better of you. And so with one glance and one glimpse at him, I know what he would have me to do. Like the Tasha Cobb's song said, said, peace is where you are, God. Joy is where you are, God. And love is who you are. So I want us going out and reflecting God, dwelling in his presence, being the peaceful, the joyful, the loving people that he would have us to be. You know, and just Joshua uh, read to me today how God has done such amazing thing with all this creation, all his attention to detail, and that we must enjoy it. So that's why I want us enjoying God, enjoying our lives, sucking up everything that he's doing for us, all of our blessings. Let's stay focused on him and all the wonderful things he's doing for us. Yeah, there's some negative stuff we're going to have to deal with, but no problem. He's even there to help us to get through. So guys, eyes on God and dwelling in his presence, asking him to help us be the people that he's calling us to be and making Papa God proud in every moment, trusting him, holding his hands like this when we go through difficulties. No, we're not alone, not even for one moment. God is with us. And so don't forget, this is your daily reminder that we're not going through life alone. God is behind the scenes, working for us. He's be beside us, helping us to be our strength, to be our help, to go through anything that will come our way, guys. So get closer to him, having appointments with him, saying, God, I want you to be a priority. Me calling my sons and my dear and say, I want to train them to make God a priority in their lives because he has the best plans for them. But they need to tap into his voice to learn his voice and how to hear him and how to see him and how to feel his presence. Like just that one conversation last night. I'm like, God, I feel you. You're here in this conversation. You are the one behind the scenes making all of this happen. So let's be about asking God to be the director, the controller of our lives as we walk with him like this through any situation that may come our way, keeping our eyes fixed on Papa God.